Also a history making day at the Heinz VA hospital. The first COVID-19 vaccine there went to a veteran. That's right. And WGN's Rob Sneed is live at the hospital with that story tonight. Rob. Yeah, the woman who received the vaccine today, she's a 48 year old woman. She's a veteran and she says that she sees this as an opportunity to serve her country a second time. She hasn't seen her family since March, but she's hoping with this vaccine that changes. Hopefully, eventually when this is helps to slow down this, this pandemic, that we might be able to start having visitors again and be able to see other people other than just those that we work with. The last nine months have been lonely for Melissa and Clocker and others belonging to high risk groups. But today there's hope. She's the first resident of long term care at a facility for veterans to get the COVID-19 vaccine in the state of Illinois. Emotionally, we all have to take our part to help stop this pan this pandemic that's going around. This is just another responsibility that that I have is, as each and every person has to try and help stop this so that we can continue moving forward. She served as a sergeant in the army during the Persian Gulf era, and she also spent time in Kosovo, but a car accident has since left the 48 year old in a wheelchair. She sees what she's doing today no different than enlisting in the army. I do feel it is a, another step to take to be able to to serve my country to, to try and help us make sure, like I said, that we stop this pandemic. Or, from going forward. The hospital has more than 3,000 vaccines available for staff and patients who want to take it. Not everyone has agreed. There are some people who have said they want to consider it and think about it, um, but certainly the majority of people, more of the veterans and the majority of employees have said that they are willing to take it. The VA has been affected by coronavirus. According to the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs, the facility alone has 164 active cases and 53 deaths among those treated and tested there. Numbers have been low compared to the community, other VAs in the private sector, um, and that is kudos to our staff. The hospital director says that he hopes that this sends a message that there is hope to overcome this virus. I think the message is, you know, service to country, step up, get it done, and let's move on. And she certainly role modeled that today. Doctors and staff realize there are some who are concerned about the side effects, but Clocker says that's not a fear of hers. There's always going to be some small percentage that's going to have a bad reaction. But personally, I'd rather have a bad reaction than have to go back on the ventilator again. Mm -hmm. That was no fun. And half of Illinois COVID deaths have been linked to long term care facilities. That's why they are the first to get those vaccines. Reporting live, Rob Sneed, WGN News. All right, Rob. And this is the first vaccine that was.